Hi, this is Dave Matthew with an audio precision quick tip. In this quick tip, we're going to take a brief look at the transfer function measurement. Transfer function is a powerful measurement. You simply take FFTs of two signals, typically the input and the output of a system, and compare the FFTs in detail. This gives you a look at the relationship of the magnitude and the phase of the DUT input and output as a function of frequency. The results are pretty much a complete characterization of what is happening to the signal between the two sample points. Here's another interesting aspect. You don't use a sine wave or a sweep as stimulus. Instead, any broadband signal with sufficient energy across the bandwidth you are interested in will work. Noise signals work, but so do music or speech signals. You can perform a transfer function during a live broadcast using program material. And now for the news. You can determine the response of a performance hall with the audience in place using the performed music as the test signal. Here's a transfer function measurement using the default APX noise source as a stimulus. We're running the signal through an equalizer that has a 4 dB boost at 1 kHz on channel 1 and a 4 dB dip at 1 kHz on channel 2. There, you can see the equalizer response. Now we'll do the same measurement using a funk mashup as the stimulus. As you can see, the equalizer response measurement is the same. For codecs and smart speakers, this allows you to develop stimuli that are suited to the system under test, avoiding steady tones or other characteristics that the algorithms are trained to suppress. What's more, Instead of just making an input-output measurement, you could use transfer function to compare two devices. A good example being microphones in an array. Play the same signal to the microphones, and the transfer function will indicate how well they are matched in both magnitude and phase in the practical mounting arrangement and acoustic field. That's all for now. You'll find more information in the documentation provided with APX500. Take a look at Techno 138 and look for additional quick tips at AP.com. And thanks for watching.